Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is the head of my life? Wanted to make this video um, for those of you that um, are new believers and you're interested in learning um, learning the Bible. Amen. What what should you do? What what tools should you have? Praise God. Now. The first thing, of course, you're going to need is a pen of some kind or a pencil, you know, uh, to take notes. Um, you can also use a highlighter to highlight um, certain passages of scripture that you you find interesting. Also, you're going to need you a note notebook. You know, put all kind of you know well yeah just take notes of course and um, of course you're gonna need a a Bible um, <clears throat> my preference is a King James Bible but there's so many different versions out there you know you can get um, a version that you're comfortable with praise God now um, to go along with your Bible, you're going to need a good study Bible. Like I just went, I just recently went home. So my pastor gave me, um, uh, quite a few books. So one of them is this new King James version Bible. It's a Nielsen edition, uh, and it's a study Bible. You know, in these study Bibles, you know, you get things like this. How when you open up to the chapter and there's, a, you know, there's this here and it explains about the book itself. Then it gives you an outline of the chapter of what you can find inside the chapters. And then over here, it gives you like this little this little periodic table you know it, it shows you you know different events that happen in those times that coincides with uh, what's written in in the scripture so these study Bibles are, are really really good man so again see the this up here is the scriptures and then down here are some notes that coincide with these scriptures. But then this little box right there, those are some scriptures that kind of back up the notes down here. So, you know, you can really get into it, man. You know, you can really get into, you know, the 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 scriptures that you're studying, man, with a good study Bible. Um, you know, especially if you are a, a new believer, you know, a study Bible, man, will help you out uh, so much, man, because there's going to be some things that you run across the Bible that you're just not going to understand. And with a good study Bible, it'll speak in just plain English and uh, it'll explain things to you to where you can get a better sense of what it's saying. Praise God. <clears throat> Amen. So basically, <laughs> basically those are the tools that you're going to need um, to get you started. You know, a notebook, pen, a Bible, and then you a good study Bible. Now, um, there are some other things that my, my pastor, there's some other books my pastor gave me that's, that's, they're a little bit more advanced. This is called The Message Remixed, and it says the Bible in contemporary language. So basically, you know, it just 
it paraphrases, you know, um, the events in the Bible. You know, it doesn't say like, you know, and he begot this and, and he and they begot that. It, it don't speak like that. It just speak like in layman's term. But it, it, it's pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> Another little thing, uh, another book my pastor gave me. Is this book, this thing right here, it says what the Bible is all about. The Bible handbook. Clear, concise overviews of every book in the Bible. So it just basically... It got us a little section right here. It says how to use this book. It says the, the purpose of this book is to familiarize the reader with the Bible through a general overview. This book contains 52 chapters spanning from Genesis to Revelation. These chapters can, can be studied one chapter a week for a year. At the beginning of each chapter, a list of selected uh, Bible sections suggested a scripture reading for each day of the week related to the chapter. Oh, that's pretty good. So, you know, it's it's basically like a um, it's basically like a, a Bible study plan for an entire year. You know. Which that that's that's pretty good, man. You know, everybody could use that, especially if it if it's easy to use. And then you have um, you have this. My pastor gave me this. It's, it's called the Dake. It's an annotated uh, reference Bible. Now this these Dakes are are really uh, used by um, more advanced Christians. You know, ministers, pastors, you know, they they really get into these things because, you know, it really breaks some stuff down and you got to be a little familiarized, a little familiar with with scripture and and different things. Oh, man. Yeah, this thing is a small print. But you can see how it looks. I was broken down. It says Isaiah notes continued. So those are all notes right there. And it really gets deep into it. <clears throat> so this basically is the Bible broken down with all sorts of notes. Amen. <clears throat> my pastor was like, uh, yeah, McClendon, the only problem is it got my name on it right there. See, that's my pastor right there. Pastor Jody C. Rogers, Blythe, California. Hey, man, I told him, I said, man, you had a Ku Klux Klan on there. <laughs> you going to give me that book. <laughs> Why are you playing? But anyway, like I said, you know, these dakes are, are, are like I say, for a bit for, um, you know, experienced uh, readers. But that, that still don't have to stop you. I mean... It's never too soon to, you know, get you one of these and start learning how to use these things and understand them, you know. Amen. So don't don't let don't let you being a beginner um, stop you from um, getting you one of those. <clears throat> now, he, he gave me another one, but this is. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's in here. Uh we're gonna find out together. Alright. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, it's a life, a life application study Bible. Oh yeah, 
Oh. Oh yeah, man. That's pretty good. Again, you got, you know, again, you got, you got notes here, you got scriptures there, you got notes here, you got notes there, you got, you got, you know, and this is an outline, oh, then, uh oh, you got a little section right here, oh, God. A little section explaining the book of Esther and then you got a little outline right here of what you will find in the chapter so that's why I'm saying you know different study Bibles they're formatted differently and um, you know they they got um, you know different notes and things like that so my pastor was telling me that it's it's a good practice to have a couple of different study Bibles, especially like just say, you know, you're reading, you're reading on Acts chapter two, verse 38, and you go to each one of your study Bibles and you look and see exactly, you know, what each one of your study Bibles have to say. And he was saying it gives you a better idea of, you know, it gives you a better overall idea of how you can use it to, you know, do whatever you're going to do. And I thought that was pretty good. And I was like, okay, pastor, I see, you know, so he was teaching me some things and, uh, you know, because I, I never... I, you know, get too big for my britches. Amen. I'm still teachable. I love learning. You know, I don't, I never act like I know it all, but there are some things that I stand firm on. You know, there's some things that, you know, especially, especially, you know, in your walk with Christ, you know, there are certain things you have to just stand firm on no matter what nobody say praise God, you, you know, you'd be like, well, yeah, I, we can agree to disagree because what you talking about don't make no sense <laughs> at all, amen, and, you know, you're going to lose some friends over that, but, hey, that's all right, though, but anyway, family, you know, that that's, that's all I have, amen, uh, get yourself uh, a good study Bible, especially if you're, um, if you're looking to um, start your walk with Christ and, and if you're looking to um, learn more of the word, get you a good Bible, probably a Bible with big enough print so you can read. Amen. And then get you a study Bible, you know, amen. So until next time, family, peace. And I love you.